Here in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center, we are chatting with the stars as they walk the red carpet. Ron Perry as a co-writer right. and producer on Butter. What did he contribute to the song? And I'm not questioning what he contributed, I'm just asking, what did he contribute to the song? He contributed a lot. Like, he literally, like, he's an ama I think he's the best executive there is and amazing musician. He started in a band. He helped us with the production. He actually inspired the, the smooth, like, like, basically he was like, Smooth, he was like Smooth Criminal, the Michael Jackson vibe, and I was like, how about Smooth Like Butter? So, I mean, was it different than collaborating with, you know, artists stateside or no? Or was there no, no, actually, was it? Okay. it was so not, it was like very similar. The only difference was it's a pandemic, you know? So obviously, like, we had to work, we didn't even work over Zoom. I haven't even seen them visually. Wow. <laughs> well, how did, wait, what do you mean then? How did it happen? I know, I know, I know. On WhatsApp. Can you believe it? No, actually, I can't believe it. Have you been writing with other artists that way? No, they're the only ones. But we had a rhythm. I mean, I've done Dynamite. I vocal produced Dynamite, and I did Permission to Dance and Butter. So we kind of had a rhythm, and basically the A&R from Big Hit was sort of the, the liaison. And basically, I would sing parts. And my collaborator, too, one of the people on Butter, Stephen Kirk, he, he would sing, like, voice notes, send it back. They'd be like, oh, we like this. We don't like this. And then they would sing it, send it back, send, and then we would just get the parts. Are you working on another song with them now that Dynamite and Butter have done so well? Not right now, but maybe soon. What are you working on that you can tell me about? Well, I'm working on, I'm executive produce, I executive, co-executive produce the new My Little Pony movie, the music for it, so that comes out next week. And then I have a J-Lo, the lead song in the J-Lo movie coming out in February, which I'm excited about. Is J-Lo going to release that as a single? Yeah. Or, oh, she will. Okay, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So exciting. Okay. Um, we've been waiting for a really long time. It was supposed to be released like two years ago, but it's getting released now just because of COVID. And then just a bunch of, there's actually a new artist that I'm working on. Her name's Jessie Murph. We have a song called Sobriety coming out it's been like blowing up on TikTok so you should look out on that look look out for that have you ever worked with Britney Spears I'm sorry no, but for, I would love to I just she just announced I know, her I know I know she, I know, you, I, know. Already, I didn't know till like somebody teams me on Microsoft I'm not on the, I'm not on Twitter right oh now God, I'm like ah oh, it's so crazy but I have you've been to. plugged in I guess to oh, all yeah, of this yeah, for yeah, you. 100%. Okay. I would love to I have to at this point I'm manifesting it <laughs> <laughs> hey thanks for watching if you like this video check out these other videos from USA Today Entertainment to stay up to date on all of the latest celebrity news